Hello and welcome to Contrail Rockets instructional video on how to assemble a internally vented 54 mm hybrid rocket motor. With all of the parts clean, we're now ready to assemble the internally vented 54 mm hybrid motor. We start with a high temperature O ring, red, that we put on our nozzle. We also put a pair on the injector baffle. This is the CNVA baff bulkhead. It's designed for a CNVA fitting, which we're going to go ahead and thread in place. Once it's seated, we're just going to tighten it just to, to snug. Other side, we put our injector. Once we bring it up snug, we're going to give it a quarter turn. That's ready. Top bulkhead, we have a pair of standard O-rings. Get put in place. With the fill line, we used to say to use a pair of cable cutters. They have a tendency to crimp the line and reduce the internal diameter. We're going to go ahead and just cut that off instead with a razor knife, giving us a nice, clean, higher performance tube. Push that into the push connect fitting. We have our internal vent line, which we insert. Once inserted, the furl has already been compressed, so all we need to do is bring the nut into place. Using a 3 8 box wrench, just go ahead and snug that in place. Now we have the ring of fire. This is our igniter cup. There is one hole for a vent line, also the ones for the two igniters. This gets slipped onto the fill line, as well as the vent line. This gets slid into place and just press down. Now, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and slide this assembly into the motor. I'm going to apply our Crytox. And just slip this into the motor. Now, we have our O-rings. We have a pair of square O-rings, a large and small. One fits inside the other. And we have our igniter wires. So, Igniter wires basically fold over the copper. Make sure that it is not grounded. If it is, just cut off any excess so that you can fold over that wire. Once folded over, those get inserted into the igniter cup. Now, once they're in the igniter cup, we're going to take a piece of electrical tape and we're going to use that to hold the wires in place. In addition, we're going to go ahead and put an additional wrap of tape down here on the end so it makes it easier to assemble the motor. So back to our square O-rings. We're going to slide those on the igniter wires pushed into place. 
and that assembly gets slid down into the motor. Next we have our fuel grain. Of course, with the fuel grain, we have lovely grease that we have to use. You're using Mobile One grease. We're applying grease to the grain. Creates a seal to prevent vapor or nitrous oxide from traveling down the outside of the grain, creating burning. So you just want to coat this up and slide it in place. At this point we have our second set of O-rings, square O-rings that go into the motor. And we have the nozzle. Now, since I have some grease right here, we're going to go ahead and utilize that. And this allows me to just push everything into place. That's the end of the grease, so let's go ahead and clean up any residue. We have our steel nozzle washer. And using a pair of snap ring pliers, seat our snap ring in place. On the top side, at this point we're not worried about kinking a line because the vent is a lot smaller. Got a pair of pliers to just hold that line in place. So I can put this in and you can see there's a little itty bitty hole there drilled for the vent. So we're going to slide this in place, make sure it's seated with a little bit of Crytox. And the hand that did not have grease on it going to slip this thing in and insert our snap ring. Once the snap ring is in place, I'm just going to pull it up. Motor is assembled and ready to be inserted into your rocket without having to drill any holes for a vent. You can see the visible vent now out of the combustion chamber.